Hey everybody, this is Pej. I'm here with my friend Jess. She's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Quite the character. I have gotten to know her better and better. She is sober. How long, Jess? I just took three years, January 12th. Okay, congratulations on your three years. Thanks. And you are in recovery, but let's talk about mental health. So you okay. have a background. Definitely guilty on that one. Okay, so when did you first get diagnosed and um, what did you get diagnosed with? I got diagnosed with ADHD when I was 15, mm -hmm. right? And it has a lot of the same symptoms as mania. Mm -hmm. And then they re-diagnosed me with bipolar type 1 when I was 16 years old roughly and drank. were they giving you medication during that time yeah they they drugged me up with seroquel uh all sorts of stuff seroquel uh seroquel lithium depakote i've been on every antidepressant and mood stabilizer in the world and then they tried to give me uh ritalin and things like that because they didn't know what was Just wrong with me like calm you down right yeah. but like op my, my brain is opposite so like meth made me calm and heroin made me hyper got it so i would do like the xanax meth weed alcohol how old were you when you got into those types of drugs um the the meth um i didn't get addicted till 2018 mm -hmm. but i had five years of dry sobriety but i was around hard drugs and you know how you are what you eat right mm -hmm. yeah and you go to the barbershop you're gonna get your hair cut and i hung out with the barbershop and dated the barber you know what mm -hmm. i mean yeah yeah for a long time and then i was like you As know what like the dealer no like my dude uh, like the, my dude supplier right okay. baby daddy dude whatever you okay. want to call it okay. um so basically bottom line I felt invisible and neglected, right? And I was like, I want to fall in love with what's made me so invisible. Which and is? then it was my choice, meth and Klonopin and Xanax. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to do to be on like lithium and Zoloft and do heroin, heroin like not a lot, mm -hmm. meth every 20 minutes for two and a half years straight. And that led me to jails, a year in county, five felonies. Um, I've probably done two years in psych wards my whole life mm -hmm. and had a lot of trauma as a teenager. And I just wanted to be numb. I just didn't want to feel... And no matter what kind of day it was, it was a high day. You and so know? now that so, you're sober, how is life? Life, I have, the promises are true. I have my son full time. I have a job. Um, I just got off three years, no violations on probation. The cops actually know me around here and they'll be like, Varner, you look great. I don't care if you know my last name, whatever. <laughs> but like, it's funny, like I could get pulled over today and not even worry about it. You know what I mean? Because I have nothing to worry about. That's a very and, good feeling, right? And honestly, you know, people say like, what, you have a... Too many, too many years and not enough days. Like you have to live in the moment, you mm -hmm. know, and you have to be, I just try to stay grateful and humble for mm -hmm. what I have, not what I don't have. You know awesome. what I mean? So if you were somebody that you know is suffering with any type of addiction, alcoholism or mental health, you can always call me 310-596-9356. I'm Pej.